Hi, I have just read this fantastic thriller. It was a book that was lent to me by a friend, so it's not one that I actually picked up myself from the, a bookshelf. And, oh, wow. It is such a good read. Um, Adriana Clark's family have moved to the Isle of Mull and she goes missing. She's 17 and she goes missing. And because they are incomers to the island, there, there's a lot of hostility because they're American as well. Um, there's a lot of hostility and they, the police, they don't feel that the police are doing enough to find her. So they hire Sadie, who's a Canadian private investigator, who has got a reputation for finding missing teenagers. So she goes off and she, she goes to see the family and she finds the body of Adriana, which is symbolically laid out. Um, she's got a seaweed crown on her head and other things that I'm not telling you. And she knows that she's dealing with something that is not what she's ever dealt with before. She's quite moved by this, this body of this girl. And as she digs into the secrets of the island, she finds that the crown where the girl was found, everything is linked to sort of myths and legends and witchcraft. And she, the more she investigates, the more hostile the island has come towards her. She's, she's a Canadian. She's trying to to find out for the family what happened to Adriana but she is met with brick walls the whole time. Um, the police force are convinced that whoever did it is an outsider. Um, she's convinced that whoever did it is someone on the island and so you've got this this clash. Um, she digs into island secrets, she antagonises, she puts herself in danger at times. Um, she does make, she does find that there are people on her side, but they're on her side in secret. And it just keeps you going and going and going. And there are, I will warn you, the, the, the descriptions are gruesome at times they really are but what did it for me is okay i i didn't guess where it was going i i didn't see who was doing all this stuff and i certainly didn't see the ending the ending was it was just as though someone had taken a baseball back to me it just i did not expect it it really pulled me up short and it was so, so emotional, which is something you don't expect when you're reading a thriller. You don't expect to be sitting there with tears running down your cheeks because the ending has just destroyed you. It was a fantastic read. I've never read any Helen Fields before. Um, Apparently this is a, a standalone and she's got a series. But I'm going to pick up some more of hers because this was absolutely terrific, a five-star read. So, um, haunting, as it says here, beautifully haunting with twists and turns you'll never see coming. And I didn't. So pick it up if you want a thriller that gives you a, a slap around the face at the end of it. Happy reading. Take care.